Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for checking out today's video, which is going to be a little bit different. Instead of setting up a new notebook, I'm going to be setting up this new bookcase behind me. Uh, maybe about six or eight months ago, I actually commandeered. Some would call it stolen, but I took a bookcase that my wife was not really using and I needed to use it for some storage for all of my notebooks and my growing collection of notebooks. And for the past like six to eight months, it's been doing great. It's been hanging out over there and holding all of my stuff. But recently we needed to, we, I was very I didn't want to give it back. Let's put it that way. But she needed the bookcase back to organize some more of the kids games and stuff like that. I was a little bit sad. I'm not going to lie to you. I had to take all of my notebooks off. They had to go sit in a corner like they were bad boys. And uh, she was actually super kind and was like, hey, I took that bookcase, but I ordered you a new one. It's coming on Wednesday. And as soon as I got here, I could not wait for work to be over so I could set it up. So I put the whole thing together. And then I was like, you know, what might be kind of cool if I did a bit of a timeline to show kind of how I set this thing up and, and went through it because I didn't just put books on there. I actually really thought about the books I have, the collections, the different brands and things like that and how I use them. And I wanted to take a little bit of extra time. It's going to be a work in progress. You know, thinking back on actually from even when I did that time left, even now I moved some stuff around. I can't help it. I feel like I don't know, I'm not like an interior designer or anything like that, and I'm sure there is a method to the madness here, but I just wanted to go through and just chat a little bit about setting that up and how I did that and just having some fun. So let's go ahead and get into it. Time-lapse, setting up my journal collection. I'm a notebook quarter, I can admit it. All right, welcome to my floor. I have never done a vloggy style video before. I'm much more comfortable at my desk, but since we're talking this bookcase and I wanted to chat just a little bit about how I put this whole thing together and the different sections and things like that too, is this interesting? I hope so, because I think organization is super fun and collections are kind of my thing, whether it's in my bullet journal or elsewhere in my life. So let's chat a little bit about how I set things up. All right, cue the awkwardness because never done this before. <laughs> so, I, but I thought it would be a good way to just chat about what's on the shelves, how I set these things up, and uh, I'm just gonna go from there. We're gonna wing it today, friend. So, the very top shelf that I have here is all of my old bullet journals. For the most part, everything's here. I date everything by when I've done them. So, I've got everything from my very first one from April 2017 all the way down to May 2021, where I just switched out my last one. So. That's those there. I did have some extra, two extra ones here. They'll probably move a handful of times while I'm in the process of doing this just because I didn't know exactly where they should go. So that's there. Um, I also have all my pointed pens inside of here, but I put a plant. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm a, I'm a big plant fan. Got them all over the place. 
um, down here in the basement and plenty of them outside, but where I am. But, uh, but yeah, so a little plant here. Thought I'd add a nice little visual to it. It was kind of cool. So let's go down to the next level. You ready? <laughs> all right. So this one here is all the fun journals that I currently have. So a lot of Archer and Olive in here. I just love using their notebooks. And I have a lot of like fun ones, just like craft notebooks that I don't use every single day. But if I'm doing something fun, I will. Rainbow colored ones. The uh, Amy Tangerine collaboration is over here too. Watercolor, all of my desk pads. I do have other notebooks that I do different things in. This one here actually is one that I've done a lot of blog posts and kind of jotted down notes. I don't keep everything necessarily in my work journal. I kind of put what I need inside of there. Um, so a lot of them end up over here too. All right, so let's go down to the next level as we come down over here. So the way that I tried to organize this whole bookcase is kind of by brands or, or things like that. So we saw kind of a mix of things, old journals, some that are in use. That's kind of a mixed bag. This shelf here is kind of the first one that is a little bit more, I say branded, doesn't it sound kind of weird? Um, but this is where I just keep all of my Baron Fig notebooks. I say this all the time about Baron Fig. I think their notebooks are really great. But more than anything, I think they're very innovative. And I haven't seen a lot of other guided notebooks like that. And on top of that, I just think that their packaging and overall design is just perfect. So along with the functionality of having them here and pulling them out and being able to work with them, I also keep them inside the boxes because I think the box design is just, just that good. So that's half of this is Baron Fig. And then the other half of this is kind of a handful of other things that I have going on. Ring binders, some other ones that I've worked with. Um, the slits one here is one that I'm going to be reviewing in a future video and some other ones that are down here as well. So below that shelf there is where I actually am going to keep all of my appointed notebooks and things like that. Also, whenever appointed sends things, at least to me, I think it's how they package their stuff. It always comes inside of one of these really nice paper boxes. So I keep those boxes because I do some other types of like storage and thing in here. Um, this first one I have here is actually all of my paper scraps. So if I don't use a whole piece of paper or just part of it, I actually put them inside of that box. And then uh, down over here, I actually have been putting all of my stamp prints that I've been doing. And as I move these, this whole shelf is probably going to fall over, but you can kind of see inside of there. So whether it's been block printing that I've been doing or even just other stamp art that I've been doing, I keep it inside that box. Let's go ahead and fix this real quick. It's bothering me that I spent all this time on here and that I'm ruining it by doing this. Now that I fix that, go back over here. So this is where I also have all of my uh, clear stamps. I've been organizing them inside of here. And then also my sticker book here as well. And then I'm not going to go into it deep, but at the very bottom here, I have art stuff. I've got uh, watercolor paper, calligraphy paper, extra grid paper, and smaller than notebooks and things like that that aren't necessarily any certain brand, but um, line notebook. Why do I keep these? I can't throw them away. I like the way they look. I think the colors are super nice. And I feel like some point someone's going to say to me, Mark, do you have an extra notebook? And I'm going to be like, yeah, I do. Here, here's an extra one for you. So before we go into this next shelving and organization, uh, just across the top, I have a handful of things that I've done here. Uh, this one up here, we'll plant, obviously. My Lavenger fountain pen. Um, I didn't have any other place to really put this, and it looks super nice. I don't know. i got to find a way to like prop it up like this or something. So it, I don't know. It looks more cool. And then up here, I also have more Baron Fig packaging. I have the pens out. I use them, but I really liked um, the packaging for the Liberty as well as the Good Luck uh, pen that they had. The little robot guy here is pretty fun. And then my little TV dude from Low Free. I, it's charged. It's a speaker, but I um, haven't charged it in a while. So next part over here is, oof, this is where things get real because uh, by going through this, <laughs> I realize how many Archer and Olive notebooks I have and having all of them is for good reason. I'm a part of the design team and I get a lot of these products in advance of a lot of the launches and things like that. Another benefit too is that if I need any other product, they are happy to send it along to the design team. So most of the things that I have over here are from other launches. And what I do for these is I actually label them with my label maker. So this over here is actually just desk pads. So I have, um, Blackout one over here, craft, um, white desk pad, and also the rainbow desk pad that just came out not that long ago. And then over here, I have other A5s. I felt like 
grouping some of these together was good. Um, the new one that I just got, I'll do an unboxing for it, is uh, Keys. Um, the Rain Cloud from Liz's recent one, A Fallen Star. And there's another secret one back there that I can't see. That's the problem. I also have some secret ones that I put on these shelves. Uh, so hopefully I don't give anything away. So the next section that goes down here is kind of more of the same um, extra ones that I have, open ones that I have, like the one from Elizabeth, Plant-Based Bride. So her B5 is down here. I mean, my goal ultimately is to use all of these. I'm not trying to have anything extra than, than what I need, but it is kind of hard sometimes when you just don't know if it's a limited edition, if you're ever going to get it again. Like uh, this really fun one here, which is one of my favorite boxes from Archer and Olive. I'm nervous that at any second, this whole thing is going to come tumbling down. But let me set this thing up here. Lock it. Um, so even some of these that I have are just... Now, see, this is why I don't do blog type videos. Just, I do not know that I'm very good at it. <laughs> so crazy. Why am I doing this? Like I said, I was just trying to show you this notebook because it's one of my favorites. Um, will I use it? Maybe one day, but I just think it's a really cool one. Um, it is the Constellation ones. I'm a Pisces, so I got this notebook just because I thought it was really nice. But I think more than anything, it's because I love the black packaging so much that uh, I have it here. So, um, so yeah, so I think my notebooks are a little bit of decoration, but also storage, it's kind of both things. This section over here is a little bit new because I've just decided that my newest collection is going to be for friends of mine who have written books. So any of my friends that write books, uh, and if I'm lucky to get them or if I buy them myself, I'm going to put them over here. So I have Missy Briggs book over here for cursive handwriting. I've got Ali Coach's books over here. She actually sent them for my girls but I didn't want them just to go anywhere. A little bit selfish because I want them to look nice and they look awesome, but they are welcome to come and grab those books at any point. And I'll be probably pulling from there as well to learn to draw and doodle the same way that Allie does. And then I also have uh, this great one here from Rachel Watts, who I've had it for a while. Um, it's a really cool, ready to use habit tracker book. Um, but I've decided instead of keeping that with some other notebooks, I'm gonna put all my friends together and that's just how I'm gonna keep them. Art box is over here. This is one that I just got. Uh, for Father's Day, so I can fill this up with art supplies instead of taking my big old art cart with me and uh, going from there. And then the rest of the bottom are just kind of extra notebooks that I have that didn't fit into any certain type of collection, either ones that I'm not currently using or ones that maybe I've used a handful of times. They're down here if we need them. Or if friends of mine want notebooks as well, I'm happy to give them a free notebook. I have plenty. And then the bottom is just all of the regular full-time job books that I have around user experience design and design operations and leader and management. So that's not as interesting, I don't think, as all the other bullet journals, but still pretty fun. It was a super fun, different type of video doing that today. So I appreciate you checking that out. I am, you know, I got some notebooks. I've been doing this for almost five years now and things start to pile up and I get collections. And, you know, there are definitely benefits of working with certain brands and being ambassadors and things like that. I'm super grateful for that. I just feel very privileged to be able to even have some of these notebooks and to be able to share them with you and tell you what's good and what's not. And I'm also a collector of things as well. I honestly call a lot of the Archer and Olive notebooks Pokemon because I feel like I have to collect them all. All of those different covers and all of the limited edition things are really awesome. And I also feel the same way about Baron Fig too. They put out these limited edition notebooks and I feel like I gotta get my hands on those. So it's been really cool growing this over time and it'll continue to grow and will continue to evolve as well. I'm not any type of a furniture connoisseur or anything like that. Like I said, my wife bought this for me. But if you're interested in checking out this shelf for yourself, I'll put the link in the descriptions below so you can check it out. I love the staggering shelves. It's super cool and it holds a lot of notebooks, as you saw. Again, thanks for checking out today's video and I'll talk with you very soon. See ya.